I don't care what school you went to, I refuse to believe that these four are so intelligent in physics that they can flick liquid as if it's a ball. I think I just now mastered it! One more bounce! That stuff on his face dried awfully quickly. Wonder how? Oh, oh, no. oh, snap. That has got to be the least genuine reaction I've ever heard of somebody falling down the trampoline and potentially landing to receive an injury or even death. I bit your leg. You're still biting me! Uh First off, since when in the series has your teeth been so sharp, and second, just let go of his leg, what the hell is wrong with you? That's no bump, it's the early stage of the lumps. The way that was phrased makes it sound like some disease or something. What, you think I'm gonna turn all lumpy like her? Three, two, one. What? Finn, I think I'm freaking out. See, I have a few questions with this, so Jay got lumpy incredibly fast, probably going from no lumps to half lumps in like 20 seconds which to me would suggest that jake has no more than like five minutes before he's completely lumpified so with that in mind i want to know how long does it actually take for somebody to go from zero to a hundred in the lump transformation what are the factors does it depend how long lsp was biting him how many times lsp bit him on his size what are the factors of all this i'll suck the lumpiness out of you hey now is that how you gain the attention of the residents of the Candy Kingdom too? You throw teacups at them? Yeah, I mean, there's a portal nearby. A portal nearby? How convenient. Where is it? Portal's that frog and mushroom. I'm not even gonna ask. Whatever, it's 2009! See, this line always confused me as a child. Is LSP disregarding the password because it's apparently 2009, or is the password literally 2009? Although I understand that this episode debuted in, I believe, 2010. I... I don't know what take I should have on this. So if your method of entering is because a frog wrapped its tongue around you and pulled you in, how are you going to exit lumpy space? It's like, kind of lame, but way less lame than like, your house. Okay. We all know that Lumpy Space Princess's house is shitty compared to what Finn and Jake have, come on. What's up there at make our point? That's so close! We can run there in no time! Can't Jake just stretch all the way over there? I understand that he technically has a finite limit as to how far he can stretch, but I know for a fact he could easily get over there. To travel by car in my world. I have a hard time believing that a purple puff space society needs cars to get around. After all, you can float. And that's like first and foremost right there. Second... Why car of all things? If you're a space civilization, why not a spaceship? I understand that cars could be designed differently in LSP's world as opposed to Finn and Jake's and probably differently than ours. I totally get that, but at the same time, why cars? I had to, Dad. I'm trying to help them, so don't lump a yard at me! What did I say? What did you just say? I said lump off, Mom! Lump off, Mom! I can see the lump does not fall far from the purple obnoxious fat lump. I lumping hate them! And that describes a relationship from me to you. Her? No! Hmm. She stores her phone in the crevices of her body? What? What? But Jake's lumpiness is worsening! No it's not, it's the exact same as before! If I become lumpy like them, I want you to- It's not gonna come to that! But if it does, I'll bury you beneath the nicest, most shadiest tree- Wait, so you'll kill him if he completely transforms? Huh? Can't this car go any faster? We're already here! Happy! No, thank you. You wanted a ride to make a point? The person who you thought to be LSP told you to go to make out point so you can make out with some hot boys! How is this so hard to comprehend? Notorious for being smooth posers. What does that even mean, though? Bumps. No. Hey, you care. Just give him the antidote already and stop being such a poser. Sorry, kid. We changed our minds. And like always, Lumpy Space Princess is a bitch and screws it all up. This is all your fault! Wow, now I know how you really feel. I was just trying to help, but whatever. No, no, no. Finn's got a point. Every single thing that has happened so far has been nothing but your fault. You bit Jake. 
You brought them here. You screwed up this thing with Melissa because you couldn't keep your head out of your ass for five seconds. You screwed up the orb exchange. This is literally on you. No, because no matter how messed up and lumpy I get, this guy never turns his back on me. Let me guess. Oh, yeah, right behind y'all. Just gotta turn my back on this guy. <sighs> I... <sighs> Um, what? Good enough for me. Now bite me. That sounded better in your head. Ah, ah, ah. Oh. <laughs> yes, I can feel the multiple bites accelerating the lumpification process. See, I can be okay with how fast paced this was because Finn got bit by three and not one. LSP, I'm sorry I blew up at you before. Why are you apologizing? LSP is literally at fault for all of this. And that right there marks every flaw, in my opinion listed amongst the episode trouble lumpy space i don't really like this episode as you know from my reviews but you know it's fun to bash things that already aren't necessarily great so yeah you got this gem